What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So I'm talking about Scream 6 in this video here again today. So shout out to this Twitter user really quick, X Teen underscore files. If I'm mispronouncing that, I'm sorry. I'll leave a link to your account in the description. But the image you see here on your screen is the talk of the town today because it looks like this could potentially be where we will get a chase scene that's the speculation that i'm going to run with as it pertains to a scene in scream 6 as you see they have turned a location out in montreal into a area that says blackmore university station which looks like a subway station so we know this is supposed to be set in new york city so that's where this idea of this being a subway station is coming from that's also the idea of where you know are we going to get a chase scene in a subway station i've already seen people but way before this clamoring for something like that ever since they found out it was going to be taking place in new york finding out that uh there's a good chance that we could see a subway station chase scene and now it looks like this knowing that there is a station that's going to be utilized associated with the university that's now raised the possibility for a lot of people so i would love for us to see a chase scene set in a subway station i think that would be very unique something that is very fitting considering it's set in new york and as far as like the character that could be featured in this in that chase sequence i mean you have gail weathers to work with you have uh sam carpenter kirby reed if she's even in the movie at that point you have um chad and mindy you have tara carpenter and you have the new crop of characters we're going to meet so there's so many different people that could be involved in a subway station type of uh, chase sequence the character i'm thinking i would prefer to see in a sequence like that is actually mindy only because i think that there's just something that might be kind of like acting as an homage to what happened to randy if it ends up resulting in mindy dying in a subway station type of sequence I don't know. I'm just thinking about how this could how this could go down and somehow be like an homage to Randy, but on a New York subway station. So the scene, of course, if it were to occur, should be something that a little that's a little bit more prolonged. I know we basically had like a teaser of what we could have potentially gotten had it gone on a bit longer with Chad in screen five. I, I would say that's the closest we got to a chase scene in screen five. What happened with Chad outside of the uh, outside of Amber's house? Or what I'll say for those of you who are more familiar with this name outside of the Mocker House. So we that was like the closest thing we got to a chase scene in, in Screen 5. It was just too short. So hopefully we get something a little bit more prolonged. Something that involves some stalking. Something that might be more reminiscent of what we saw from Gale Weathers in Scream 2. With someone hiding from Ghostface. Getting to see Ghostface stalk and search for them. And just, the, just seeing visuals that can play with you. In the hopes of that, you know, hopefully Ghostface doesn't find them. Hopefully Ghostface doesn't notice that they're there. Hopefully Ghostface doesn't hear them breathing. So many different things to help build tension throughout before they either ultimately get killed or somehow make it out of the sequence alive. So if you would not prefer to see Mindy, I would like to know who you guys would prefer to see down in the comment section below if we do indeed get to see a subway chase sequence in this movie at blackmore university now i do want to say this it is also possible of course that we could get something very memorable from gail weathers in a subway chase scene sequence where she could be going home from work going home from her news reporting job or just going home from the network for the day she decides to take the subway home and we could find out she actually operates off of the subway mostly while living in new york and she gets a phone she could get a phone call from the killer who of course would ultimately taunt her we have a little bit of a back and forth playful back and forth where she's showing that sassy bitchy side of herself ghostface can taunt her about dewey's death and how she's about to die she could be stranded on this subway station now of course if this is indeed the blackmore university subway station I would assume they'd have to set up a sequence in which she was on the campus earlier for something probably related to Sam, Tara, or one of the other kids once bodies start dropping around campus because, you know, she's going to try to get the first scoop on it for coverage on her morning show. And ultimately, she decides to leave for the day, and that's when she gets stalked by Ghostface. You could have a very good reminiscent sequence of what we saw from her in Scream 2. Courtney Cox, again, I believe, would deliver it. And I, I think I've said this in another video. I believe Gail Weathers' Courtney Cox can indeed, if written well and given the chance to execute it well on screen, 
depending on what creative juices are are working here as far as what's on paper she can outdo what she did in scream 2 because i know that's again regarded as one of the best chase sequences in the scream series from gail weathers courtney cox scream 2 so i think she has it in her to outdo it in scream 6 depending on what material she could be given to work with you could even throw in two killers in this sequence to kind of raise the stakes and kind of raise the tension felt throughout to try to lessen your audience's uh, believe, belief that she will make it out alive. She can still, of course, make it out alive, but, you know, play with your audience a bit. Make it feel like Gail Weathers is in, is in actual danger and let her get injured or something. Uh, don't make it don't play it too safe let her get injured you know just always tease your audience that she could potentially die and kind of make it interesting there you could even do something with kirby reed that's again assuming kirby reed makes it into the movie that far where she goes into the subway station at blackmore university for whatever reason and she has a chase sequence with ghostface on this subway station now honestly if hayden ends up being in the opening of scream six then I probably would not want to see her go through another chase sequence later on in the movie since she already would have gone through one, I assume, in the opening of the movie. So it's kind of like, you know, give that to someone else. I, again, wholeheartedly would prefer to see Mindy Meeks Martin go through a subway chase sequence. That's the character I would love to see go through something like that. Only because I think they, there's something that could be done to kind of tie that to an homage to Randy Meeks if she were to bite the dust during this sequence. Doesn't have to be her. It could be the other Meeks boy, um, Chad. But I know there's a lot of Chad fans out there already. I know who would prefer it be Mindy who goes and Chad just stays put where he's at. So, you know, it could be anyone. It could be Tara going onto this subway station and having a chase sequence. It could be Sam for whatever reason. Uh, it could be a new character that we haven't yet learned about because we don't have any new character names new character names liana liberato or one of the other characters uh dermont moroni you know it could be one of the older male actors having a chase sequence maybe a professor gets chased on a subway station and ghostface kills the professor on their way home all i know is if we get a subway chase sequence in scream six and it's executed very well i believe it'll be remembered as one of the best things to come out of the franchise in a very long time it'll also be one of the things i i help i hope separate scream six from a lot of the other sequels and hopefully it will kill any belief that this is a scream two copycat but let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below if if you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to my social media accounts on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.